You take your first step through the door to a billion dollar corporation and are presented with a world leading problem. Create an array of numbers between 1 and 100 and are tasked to print all them out. However, there are a few strings attached. If the number is divisible by 3, then print out fees. And if the number is divisible by 5, then print out buzz. And if the number is divisible by both 3 and 5, then print out fizz buzz. Your palms start to become sweaty, you feel your heart beating at 200 times a minute, and you start to see nothing but blackness in front of you. Don't worry, this is just your brain loading the latest software update and injected to us by the lizard people. However, you have no time for that, so just snooze the update by taking a deep breath and relaxing. The first step you might want to do is simply ask questions. This will not only give you the time to load up the sweat distribution program, but also let you understand the problem more and it allows the interviewer to know what you are thinking, which leads me to the second step, which is solve the problem out loud. The interviewer wants to use the question to gain root access to your brain so that they'll know if you're the right fit for the company or not. Help them out by saying your thoughts out loud. Now that you have calmed down and understood the problem more clearly, you are ready to begin thinking about the solution. We'll start out by writing our pseudocode as it's another great way to show your workings and again allows you to present your thinking process to the interviewer. So let's start by breaking down the problem line by line. We first need to create an array of numbers between 1 and 100. So first, we'll create an empty array and make a loop that starts from 1 and goes to 100 adding each element to it. Remember that your first solution is just meant to work and does not need to be optimized in any way. That will come later. Now that we have this array, we will want to loop over it and first check if a number is divisible by 3. And if so, we'll print out fees. This instantly scrims if statement to me, so we'll add it to our pseudocode. We will repeat the same statement for the word buzz and fizz buzz. This is the time that I will do a few dry runs of the code, checking if the output is in fact what you'd expect. This dry run it shows your interviewer that you like to test your code and are less likely therefore to end up releasing a bug that deletes the entire production database. With the pseudocode all written up, you are now ready to start implementing it in the language of your choice. I like JavaScript and will therefore be using that, but you could implement the solution in whatever language the interviewer would like you to. Here is my translated pseudocode in JavaScript which will now run and check the results. Everything is looking great, but the interviewer will now turn around and ask you about the big O time complexity. Looking at the code, we have two non-nested loops, and so the time complexity will be 2on. The interviewer will say, that's great, but can you make it faster? To which you'll answer, yes, I can. First off, looking at the code, we don't really need two loops. Since we are processing the value straight away and aren't using it later, we can get rid of the array completely. This reduces the time complexity to O of n. Now the interviewer will say, this code works great, and it's fairly fast, but it's not really extensible. Could you make it easier to read? At this point, you want to throw the board out the window with the amount of refactoring they have asked you to do but you just need to keep your cool because you're nearly there. You look at the code and you realize that you don't really need multiple console logs. Instead, you can create an output variable at the top which will store all the console log output and then if any of the statements are true, you'll simply add a word to the string. This makes it super easy for adding extra words that you'd like in the future. At the end, you simply print out the string and if the string's empty, you print out the number. Perfection. The interviewer now presents you with an offer for a $300,000 a year job just for you to turn up and center a div.